Hey guys, it's Luna Lynn, and today is September. Hold on, I gotta look at my calendar. I forgot. Today is September 10th. Ha! I remember. No, I'm kidding. Um, and yes, I don't know what date this vlog is, what number this vlog is, but whatever. I'm not counting anymore. Um, as you could tell from other videos. Oh, hey, it's raining. Oh, whatever. So. I decided to do this video now. I was going to wait for better weather because, as you, some of you guys may know, my videos depend upon the weather. And, mm, like, the weather's been really pooey. Like, there were some days that it was sunny, but the sun just kept hiding behind the clouds. And I'm like, you know, <sighs> so I'm like, forget the weather. I'm just going to make this video because I haven't made a video in a while, and especially a vlog. Um, and I seriously needed to make this video. I wanted to make this video since, um, after I went to the con, which you can tell what the title is, because it's right there. <laughs> Hi! Um, but I'm going to be talking about my first con experience! Yes! Oh my goodness. So, yes, um, let's start at the beginning of the day. So, when I woke up, we were getting ready to go to the con. We were packing a backpack full of things, you know. Like, because seriously, I didn't know what was going to be there, so we packed, like, we packed snacks, we packed water, <laughs> and stuff like that, and I was getting my Tony Stark on. And, um, it was pretty easy, except that I had to, I was very frustrated with the hair, because I tried using wig gel, and that didn't work, so I had to use mousse. So, yeah, that's how I did it. And, the facial hair was because of mascara. Yeah, mascara. I used mascara. Um, I've done it before, but I just needed um, a better color. I mean, it. when I looked at it, I'm like, you know, it's the same thing. It's like, you know. But yes, it was a fun time getting ready. And then after we, we were done getting ready, we left a little later than I was hoping. But that's a, yeah, a little later, but... I mean, hey, so we got there, it's, the con starts at, started at like 2.30, I believe, and we got, we got there like, I'd say a little after 2.30, um, I think it was 2.30, right, 2.30, was it 2.30, I can't see, yes, it was, it was 2.30, okay, don't mind this, okay, oh, brings me back to my childhood, <laughs> I'll tell you later, um, but yes, um, it took us a bit to find the parking lot, or a place to park in general, um, because it was a new place we've never been to, like, it was our first con and our first time being at that place in general, um, I'm not going to tell you what the place is for privacy reasons and stuff like that, but those of you who know which cons that I went to, you know what I'm talking about, um, so it took us a bit to find a place to park. And then, when we got inside, it took us a bit to find the convention center. So we're just, like, walking around, asking people, it's like, do you know where the convention center is? And finally, we found it. And obviously, I was a little disappointed that when we first got there, there weren't that many people, but I also knew because it was early, like, it was when the con first started, so of course there wasn't going to be that many people. Um, but first... The first thing we did was we walked around to see all the booths, to see which, the different booths that were there. Um, obviously it was a comic con, so there were mostly comic related items, like comics and, fig and comic figures and things like that. Um, there were cosplayers, um, which was really good. I was surprised that there were so many. I was surprised that there were, especially because there were some cosplayers that weren't cosplaying from comics, they were cosplaying from anime. Like, um, there was a Grell from Kudo Shitsuge, um, there was also, um, a puppy, there were two puppy cats, um, if you know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> um, there were two puppy cats, which I was surprised, because I'm like, puppy cat, that, that's not a comic. Or, unless it is, and I don't know. If it is, please let me know, I want to know. <laughs> please let me know. Um, but... We, we looked at all the booths to see what there was there, and then we decided to buy things, which I have back there. I'll show you later. Um, but yes, I bought four items. 
And seriously, if I had more money, I'd buy more. Th I would have bought more stuff. But I'm glad I didn't bring so much money. Because, <laughs> yeah. Um, but we did buy some things. And so we... I was very tempted. There was a Batmobile there. I was very tempted to have my picture taken in front of it. But you know how Marvel and DC, they got the little squabble going. I, I, I'm like, now I seriously, I seriously should have done that. I'm serious. I'm like, you know, why did I do that before? I'm like, that would have been so funny. But I didn't. Because I was afraid there'd be a quarrel, but I really should have. But I took a picture in front of the um, shield truck, which I will put that picture up. I don't know when, but I will. <laughs> but yes, so after we bought stuff and we looked around a bit more um, in the there was like a second floor of different things, but that was mostly like for panels and stuff like that. Um, excuse me. Um, and then before we left, I took one more quick look because I wanted to find my friend that said was going to be there. She said she was going to be there um, that day on Friday. We went Friday um, because we would have loved to go Saturday, but we were um, volunteering at a very big event at our church. So some of you are like, church? Forget church. No, I'm not going to forget church. I love my church and I will help out any way I can. So moving on. Um, The train left the building! Turn it! Um, hold on. I'm trying to remember. Um. Oh, yes. Okay. Um. What is that music? That's nice. <laughs> um. Um. Goodness, why did I forget? Darn it! I got off track and I forgot! Oh my goodness, I'm trying not to make this a super long video for you guys. Um, oh my goodness. Oh yes. Um, but I, I walked around the whole area again to look for her. And I couldn't find her. And I, got, and I was so upset because I wanted her to be a part of my first con and my first, like, my first legitimate cosplay. Not, not, I don't count Sakura as like a first real cosplay because it didn't really look like the character. Um, but the only thing that looked like the character was the headband, so, um, I was, I was so upset, so, I got, so we, w we went home, um, we stayed there for like, I don't know how many hours, but we stayed there for a while, um, and when I got home, I went on Facebook, and I found out that her car broke down on the way there, I was like, oh, I mean, I really wanted to see her there, and I know how bad she must have felt because her car broke down on the way there, and I was like, oh man. Um, but you can't help what happens. Sometimes things happen for a reason. I mean, you never, you, sometimes you don't know the reason, but sometimes things happen for a reason, and you just, you just gotta live with it. So, there'll be, there'll probably be another time where I will see her for the first time at a con. You never know. So, and when we got home, I was really, I was stalling to take Tony Stark off because I really, I loved being Tony Stark. I got so many compliments on my Tony Stark. And even someone from my church, even someone from my church said that that was the best Tony Stark cosplay they've seen. I'm like, what? I'm like, are you serious? At the con, there was a guy who actually had real facial hair. And then they mind the best? I'm like, I use mascara! You see, I use mascara! How? I, I, I don't know. But, that was pretty cool. So, hopefully, hopefully, next year, or whatever, whatever con, I can go, we can go, like, a big group. Go, we can go with a big group. There are actually people from our church who went to the con, but they went Saturday. Yeah, there are people at my church who like who like comics and stuff. They're normal people too. <laughs> um, but it was really cool because they they cosplayed as um, teenage like uh, Casey Jones and um, the Shredder 
from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes. <laughs> so, now that I've done with my first con experience, I shall show you my con haul. Yay! So, when I got this stuff, I was so happy. I told myself I was not going to leave without a figure. I told myself that. I'm like, I am not leaving without buying a figurine. Because I, I've never, that, that'd be my first figurine. Like, I don't count the, um, the action figures I have because most of them are from, like, McDonald's and Burger King. <laughs> but, yeah. So, it's this store called, what's this, what's this? <coughs> what's this store called? Japanese Animator Toys and Hubbard. Well, name jumped off, but that's okay. Um, oh, website, website, here we go. Website, um, www.mugentoys.com. So yeah, you can go on there. So, when I got a figure, um, I wanted Sailor Moon. I had my heart set on, set on Sailor Moon, but the only ones they had were Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, um, they had Sailor Jupiter, actually no, they didn't have Jupiter, they had Saturn, um, and that was it. So I looked around a little more, and then I decided to get Hatsune Miku, <laughs> and it's all in Japanese! I'm serious, I love Japanese writing, but I can't read it, which is very sad. I cannot read it. So, and I've held off on opening this box just for this video. I know I wanted to do this in August. I really, I really wanted to do it as soon as possible, but, um, excuse me. <laughs> no. Um, but I didn't, I really wanted to open the box, but I wanted to wait. So, I don't get what that's for. Yeah. So, oh! <laughs> Her face. But yes. My very first figure, Hatsune Miku. And I was actually thinking of, I don't know, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see the white shelf right there. I was actually thinking of putting Hatsune Miku on that top shelf, moving the minion down, moving Pichu over, and then putting Hatsune Miku right in the middle. So, I don't know if you can see it, but that's my plan for her. Until I rearrange my room and all that stuff. So, yes, very first thing. Now, the second thing I bought, I was so happy, I'm like, this was meant for me. I'm serious. Like, this was the only one, and I'm like, this was meant, I'm just, I'm so happy. I love it. I'm like, this is mine. This is mine. This is mine. It's just a Debbie. It's so adorable. I mean, it's, it, it's on a string, but I'm not going to hang it from the string, because it's in your hook. I love Dedenne. Pikachu first, then Dedenne. Da -da -da -da. I've got the voice down too. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just like, I'm so in love with it because it's so adorable. And it's like, oh my god. Ugh, I'm a sucker for cute things. I love its tail too. Look at the little tail. <laughs> but yes. Um, I didn't take the tag off. But yeah. What's inside? I've never looked inside. Eh, it's just Japanese. <laughs> it's Japanese writing, so I can't read it. I can't read it, so... Yeah. But yeah. Um... He's been in the bag. I really wanted to take him out, but I really wanted to rearrange my room first. And then I put him somewhere, because I don't want to have the stress of him moving around so much. Because he might die. No, I'm kidding. That's only for real animals. Um... So yes. Yeah. It's very hard because he's very adorable, but I love Pikachu, and I have so many Pikachu, um, I have so many Pikachu, um, um, stuff, plushies, yeah, there we go, plushies, I couldn't think of the word. Yeah, stuff plushies, yeah, stuff plushies. So, yes. Yeah. Now, the third thing I bought was, I, I, I don't know, I know I already drank it, but, was this Grape Ramune. And I'm not a soda drinker, but I will endure for this because this is really good. I love this. And, um, this was actually, 
when I bought this, I thought that I haven't tried grape before, but I did. And, um, I'm like, eh, whatever, it's still good. Um, so yeah, I bought this, and, oh, question, when you, when you are done using the stopper, do you throw it out right away, or do you keep it temporarily and put it on the top? I don't know why I haven't thrown this out yet, but that's what I do. I decided that since this is here, I might as well use it to, to keep it closed for a bit. <laughs> so, yeah. And then the last thing I got... Uh, we're talking about the day -day. Day -day. What, And, yeah, the last thing I bought was Haichu gum. Um, so far as I know, um, Haichu is, like, the best gum in Japan. But if it isn't, please let me know in the comments because I would love to try it. And so I bought grape flavor because I love grape and I thought this was the easy, the easiest thing to try with. Oh, hey. There's an expiration date. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Made in Taiwan! Rip off! No, I'm kidding. But, yes. So... Yeah! <laughs> so now, for the trying part. So I've never tried this before. I held, like I said before, I held off on doing this stuff because I want to make this video. Ooh, very nice packaging. I love it. Nice and simple and everything. So let's try this. Oh, wow! Ooh! See, if you look, it's like a. Um, yeah, let's hold that up. See, it's like a white bar, and then that's probably the flavoring in the center. So, stack the mask. Hmm. Reminds me of taffy. Wow, this is really chewy. This is gum? It's like a workout for your jaw. Sorry. <laughs> the flavor is good. It doesn't. It's not an artificial taste because obviously this sa this says um, no artificial. Go excuse me, colors. But hold on. What does this say? Um. Natural colors. Okay. Wow, this is really... It's a lot... It's a lot thicker than American gum, because you know American gum, you can keep chewing and chewing and chewing. But wow, this is... This is a really good workout. It's really good. I like it. I mean, I didn't expect it to be so chewy. Like, the consistency reminds me of taffy. You know, like Laffy Taffy and stuff like that. That's that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, this is really good. The fla the flavor is good. It's really good. So. All in all, this is really good. I give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. So, I highly recommend you guys try this if you run into it. Be prepared, though, for the texture to be like taffy. So, yeah. That was really good. I like that. <clears throat> That's really good. Oh. Wait a minute. The size is smaller. Did it shrink? I'm not... You're not supposed to eat it, are you? Stay active, eat haichu. Wait a minute. They actually eat this? Because it's... it's Wow. 
So wait, is this like... I'm confused now! Because it's not so big in my mouth anymore. It's like... So... Please let me know what's going on. Do you... Are you supposed to eat this? Or is it just gum? Because it says... Because... I'm confused now. Please let me know in the comments below what you're supposed to do with this. Because... I thought this was gum. But... As I chewed, it shrank. And now I barely have anything in my mouth. So yeah. So I highly recommend you guys try this out, but be prepared for it to be taffy and be prepared for it to shrink. Which I was not prepared for. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you liked it. Please click the like button and also give it a thumbs up. Well actually a thumb up, but I like thumbs up. Because there are more than one thumb. One yeah, on a person. There's two. So, thumbs up. I don't care what people say. Thumbs up. So, give it a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. And also, I have a whole bunch of social media stuff. And also, I have my second YouTube channel, which might have some activity soon. Maybe? I don't know. But, please go check it out. There are There is, like, three videos on it that you can look at. Um... So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you next time. Yeah. Na 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 Batman.